Hello, everyone. My name is Nate Coombs, and I'm the customer engineer here at Assemble Systems, and welcome to our January Assemble Tech Corner. Today, I'm going to be going through our new functionality of read-only mode in, within Assemble and how to set that up in the functionalities of this new feature. So I'm going to start by running through how to set this up from an administrator perspective, and then I'll go into what it looks like from a read-only perspective and, and give a little bit of insight about why this would be helpful and what we can use this feature for. So as most of you probably know, and if anyone doesn't, this is our main assemble site right here. I'm gonna be going into our Francis Hall project today. And I'll go into now how we can go about assigning view only or read only privileges within assemble. I've already gone through and added another email of myself to assemble, but as not an administrator, so to create read-only mode, you go into edit project, just like you did for adding users to projects before, and you add members to this project. I come in and find the user that I'm looking for. And before we only had two, we could add them as just users or as administrators. But now you see that we have a new window here that allows us to make us administrators, contributors, or read-only. So now I'm gonna click on read-only mode and I'm gonna click done, I have added myself as a read-only view. So when I go into assemble now as an administrator, you'll see the multiple different windows and all the different features and functions that we allow as administrators and users to do. We have our model tree on the left here, our inventory in the center, and our 3D viewer, which is loading up here on the right. So as an administrator, I have the ability to go through and reorganize this information. I can group, sort, and filter. I can hide different things. But this, is all, this isn't always helpful for everyone to have access to. Sometimes it's better for them to just be able to view the information and not be able to actually edit and change and add more information, which we allow as an administrator. So maybe you're an owner and you want them to be able to just see the information, but you don't need them to be able to actually change anything or maybe it's a subcontractor that you aren't super familiar with, but you, and you need them to have access to this data, that you don't want them to be able to change and things like I said before. So by assigning read-only mode, I'll now show you what it looks like when I go into read-only mode and what I can do within this feature. So I'm just gonna go in, and I'm gonna sign out as the administrator here, and I'm gonna sign back in as the account that I just assigned read-only access to. So you see the difference now is I only see that specific project that I was assigned to rather than all of the projects that I was assigned to before. And so now I can hop into this. I still have access to all the models within this project and all the views within this project. But you see I don't have that edit project tab up here on the right now and I cannot import views across other projects. So I'm not allowed to add people. I'm not allowed to manage my assembly codes or change any of my project aesthetic information but I still have the availability to work with all these models and see all the data within these models. So now if I just hop into this architectural model, you'll see what it looks like when someone goes into a view-only setup. So you notice here that the, the system is a little bit different than it was before. We, have our, we still have our inventory and 3D viewer, and we can still always access our 2D viewer. And we still have all of the functions that go along with our 3D viewer. But you see we don't have our group by, we don't have the availability to import back in from Microsoft Excel. We can still only export. But I can still view all this data. I can still get all the dimensional information that I find necessary. But I'm not going to be able to change any of the columns or anything either. So I really only have access to viewing this data. And I can still go in here and say, I say I want to still see the properties that are associated with this air terminal. I can still select that item. It still is going to select this information in my 3D viewer. But now I can come into the properties, and rather than being able to edit these properties like I could before, you're going to see all this information has been grayed out and is not editable. I can still view and gather the information that I need, but now I can't edit or change anything. So now everyone can have access to this information without the, the worry and, and stress of them maybe accidentally changing something, maybe accidentally setting things up in a way that is... is foreign to whoever is using the project most frequently and it's going to actually mess them up and, and cause them to have to go through and fix new things. So this functionality now allows us to, to share information with even more people with, while still bringing down liabilities and still making sure that the information and data is safe and sound and making sure that everything is still 
exactly as you left it before and people haven't been able to go in and change anything that you've set up already. We still have access to all the views as well. So it's, it's not like you just have access to the data and you don't have the views. I can still go back in to Francis Hall. I can still go into these views that I have available. So say I want to see this work package progress. So it just, it's not quite as flexible as, as an administrator, as you would probably imagine. And the availability to change these things isn't there. But it still doesn't mean I can't go in and, and view all the things that have already been set up. So I can still see these colorizations. But I can go in and still see all the different colors and all the information that's been set up in this specific view. So I still am able to see all these views and I'm still able to go through and gain all this information. But like I've always said, I'm not going to be able to change or edit anything. So I think that is a pretty high level overview of our read only functionality. And we're very happy and excited to release this because it's going to mean that even more people can be involved in the project, in the project life cycle. And everyone can still, and even more people can be involved in using Assemble as well. So it's definitely something that we've been looking forward to and excited to release to our customers. And I look forward to getting our feedback and, and hearing how this is benefiting and how this is allowing other people to bring in even more information and more people into the, into the life cycle of the project and making sure the collaboration is one of the biggest things that I imagine keeps the things going forward and keeps efficiency as high as possible. I thank you for joining us today and I'll see you next time on the next Assemble Tech Corner.